Tech New Video. Note for students, enjoy some everyday usable caps and context. For English definitions, check the description below. Note for others, enjoy. That's all. In this video, I'm going to show you an awesome, cheap, a piece of cake DIY paper craft for your gift. If your gift is a necklace, a bracelet, or a pair of earrings, then you're in the right place. Well, boxes are cool, but let's think out of the box. I mean it both literally and metaphorically. What brought this Cadbury box here? I'm sorry. All you're gonna need is Microsoft Word. Yep, you heard me right. Not Photoshop or other advanced photo editing programs. I can feel you. Many of us are ignorant of technology and will never figure it out. We also need a tape. Um, it's supposed to fill down. Whip. Perfect. First things first, pick a beautiful picture that you're gonna use to place your gift on it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you go back a little? I wonder who took this beautiful picture. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Here are some tips. Tip 1. Choose a picture that they would vibe with, something they're interested in. If they're into music, pick a picture, for example, of their favorite singer Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? or a musical instrument. If they're animal lovers, a picture of a cat or a dog or a lizard, I don't know if that's a thing, would let them feel delighted. Or you can go to their Facebook or any social media account and to steal their own pictures. I mean, imagine getting a card with your own profile picture on it. Always make your gift feel more personal. Take my word for it. Tip 2. When choosing a picture, make sure it's of a good quality. Anything from 500 by 500 and higher would look amazing. Tip 3. Searching keywords. Use words like background or wallpaper to get large and better quality pictures. Or you can simply set the size by clicking on tools than size. I like to search using the word pattern to get those beautiful repeated decorative designs. All you gotta do is type the color, theme, or occasion and you will get thousands of results. It's time to pay Uncle Word a visit! I'm using an older version of the program for no reason. I just keep putting getting the latest version off. Anyway, any version would do the trick. Browse your photo and let's do some basic editing. Change your wrap text to square. Set your measurements right, print it out, cut it. It's better to print it on a cardstock. 100 pound paper, 270 GSM, or 80 pound paper, 215 GSM. The thicker the better, but both work just fine. Where I live, a 100 pound paper costs one shekel and a half, which equals 50 cents. 31 pennies, one and a half real, 468 ones. Now with a cutter, cut two diagonal lines where you want. Just a couple of millimeters down. Repeat on the other side. Insert your necklace where you've just cut like that. And ta-da! Oh, hold on a minute. We're not gonna keep the necklace dangling on the back of the card, are we? Here where Mr. Tape takes control. This time, for real. Ta-da! Okay, let's work on the photo we stole before we get caught. Here are some hacks. Hack one. To add a little touch, how about we add another photo next to it? Looks great. Hack two. Add a border. Water set as guiding lines when cutting, so you don't really need to worry if you're a terrible scissors user. Plus, it makes the card look more organized. Don't forget to add the lines on both of the photos using the same color and width. Adjust it a little bit. And here we go! A closer look, please. Hack 3. Try doubling the exposure. I used the previous hack to neighboring photos and we're gonna add the third photo but on top this time. Looks perfect in the middle. We're gonna use it for earrings this time. With a sewing pin or any type really, make a hole and put it in. 
Enjoy this fancy montage. How about we try it with those elegant studs? Looking fancy and classy enough? I think so. Here is another double exposure idea. Not in the middle, but excuse me, Beyonce. To the right, to the right. Great. Isn't this baby just adorable? This time, I've used the bracelet. Another bracelet card idea. P.S. It's better to measure how big enough you want your card to be, especially with earrings and bracelets. Just use a ruler or a measuring tape and set your height on width a couple of centimeters bigger than the actual size. Here is one last hack. Use a transparent, aka PNG, format photos or texts. Make sure it has this white, gray, chessboard-like background. I've already inserted this PNG bride and let's add this PNG congratulations text. with our names make us feel special, right? So let's add a name then. Shout out to my father who wrote this admirable calligraphy. Arabic calligraphy is something I'm into, but of course other calligraphies would look as admirable. For kids, Pick their favorite cartoon character and let it seem as if they're wearing the accessories. Kids gonna wear those accessories forever, seeing their favorite princess wearing them. I hope, like really hope, you liked those ideas and got you inspired in a way or another. We're all set for now, so... Bye -bye.